Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be one of the features that TU14 has to offer, and that is going to be enchanted books. What they are is pretty much what it implies. It is an enchanted book. And what you need to do, of course, is get yourself an enchantment table, build yourself a little bit of a bookcase shelving, and get yourself some high levels. The higher level you are, the better it will be. But since we're on creative mode, I would think that it's just going to be already at level 30. So let's go take a look at what the books will bring for us. So just go on the creative menu. Just go all the way down to where was it at? Well, brewing? No, it's not it. Miscellaneous? Nope. Decorations? No. Materials? Nah. There you go. Tools, weapons, and armor. So there you go. There's a selection of books that you can actually get. And pretty much these are, I believe you only get one enchantment for each one, but... Don't count my word for it. I'm still learning as I go along, but this is the type of enchantments you could actually get for your books. You got Protection 4. You got Fire Protection 4. You got Feather Falling 4. You got Blast Protection 4. Projectile Protection 4. Efficiency 5, which would be very, very useful if you were to put that on a pickaxe. A diamond pickaxe, no less. Looting 3. You got Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, Bane of Arthropods 5, Smite 5, Sharpness 5, Thorns 3, which pretty much it is a good thing. Well, what you're going to do is that for you to put onto an item, you're going to need an anvil, which I will explain in a bit. But Thorns, pretty much whatever runs into you or hits you will be damaged as well. So it's pretty much a recoil effect. Then you got Aqua Infinity 1, you got Respiration 3, you got Soak Touch 1, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Power 5, Punch 2, Flame 1, and Infinity 1. So what you're going to need to do, like I said, you, you probably already know how to make an enchantment table set right here. You go get your books, then you go enchant them. So we got to do one enchantment right here. So there's level 30, and go ahead and select it, and you get on breaking 3. So this is pretty good. That is good. Now let's see what other enchantments I can get. So let's see what this one has to offer. Looting 3. Okay, you cannot do a quick select on the books yet. If only you could, if you're only if you're able to actually do that. Power 3. So let me see. What else can I get? I'm going to do at least 3 more books. Efficiency 4. So, one, so that's sharpness three, two, which is Bane of Arthropods four, and three, it's going to be Feather Falling four. So what you need to do to create an anvil is that you're going to need three blocks of iron and four regular bars of iron. So let me place that down. Very damaged anvil can be used to repair weapons, tools, and armor. So it's already damaged as it is, but let's go ahead and use it. This is the anvil interface, which you can use to rename, repair, and apply enchantments to weapons, armors, or tools at the cost of experience levels. So yes, you're going to need to get some experience and or enough to actually repair and do enchantments. So there you go. So press A to learn more about it. Yes, we will. To begin working on an item, place it in the first input slot. Okay, press A to continue. When the correct raw material is placed in the second input slot, example given, iron ignits for a damaged iron sword, the proposed repair appears, or yeah, proposed repair appears, a lot of P's in there, in the output slot. Alternatively, a second identical item can be placed onto the second slot to combine the two items. The, to enchant items on an anvil, place an enchanted book on the second input slot. The number of experience levels that w the work will cost is shown beneath the output. If you do not have enough experience levels, the repair cannot be completed. It is possible to rename the item by editing the name shown in the textbook. Picking up the repaired item will consume both items used by the anvil and decrease your experience level by the given amount. So, there you have it. Okay, let's put the diamond pickaxe. There's nothing in here, so let's see what we could add on to here. Efficiency. And then, there you go. It will cost you six levels in order to do that. So, what is the purpose of this? 
Honestly, it's because if you want to get the exact enchantment that you want to get, this is the way to go, depending on what you want to get. Especially if you have, what's it say, Efficiency 5. So let's go rename this. Wait, I have a chat pad. So let me back out of this one. Let me back out. So let me see. Backspace all the way. Wow. Okay. So it cost me... It cost me levels just to rename and rename a tool. Okay. Let's see. Let me go over here. Oh wait. I cannot I cannot get rid of the D? Come on, I want to get rid of the D. I don't want the D. I want to get rid of it. <sighs> oh well. Title Update. 14. Oh, I spelled update wrong. God dang it. Come on. Come on. Let's do this right. Up. Date. Can I get rid of the D now? Please? There we go. We got rid of the D. Title update 14. So, it will cost me 13 levels. There we go. And we put that back there. Then let's see what we could actually add on to this. I'm breaking 3. And then you get efficiency 4 and I'm breaking 3 with the cost of 9 levels. So you could actually stack them on. Just keep stacking them on. Let's see if I could add sharpness. Look at that. I could even add sharpness to it. So you could just use the enchantment book to enchant anything. Really, you could just enchant anything. Let me take that out of the equation. Let me go ahead and enchant some bread. Look at that. Sharpness 3 for bread. Can you believe it? Apparently this bread will kill everything. <laughs> Killer bread, right? So let's see. Bane of Athropods, put that onto a shovel. Oh wait, yeah. whoops, wrong way. There you go, Bane of Athropods 4 onto a shovel. You could literally enchant and rename any item to however you want to spell it. As far as I know, don't quote me on this, but apparently my friend was able to actually rename the items any way he wanted it. He could just rename it to anything. There's no censorship. But I guess they're going to actually have to fix that. I don't know if they actually accounted that, but I guess we're going to have to fix it. Bane of Athropods with a shovel. And then Charmus 3 with a piece of bread. Can I even eat it? Well... You can see that's already enchanted. I don't know if this is an actual bug, but as far as I know, you can enchant anything for now. Now let me see. How how sharp is this bread? Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. You can see the damage being done right there. Look at that. <laughs> well, I guess this guess like three or four hits is not enough to kill you, but that's okay. But like I said, you could just keep on stacking and stacking on levels and enchantments on an item. Let's see what happens. Oh, wrong one. Let's see what happens if I were to add something else to it. How much can I actually put on there? Feather falling. Okay. Then let's see. Power three. Okay. And let's see. Whoa. There's already five enchantments. Okay, I'm interested to know. I'm honestly interested to know how much enchantments you could actually put onto one item. Because this is actually pretty neat. But again, you're just gonna have to keep sacrificing more and more levels. Okay, that's an easy way to do it. Just, that's an easy way to do it. Press Y on here, put that there. Select, press Y, select. Just keep on doing this. Now, let's see what else can I put. As well as, I believe that you could actually repair the enchanted tools, but I don't know how that works just of yet. I'm still learning as I go along, but I find this a lot fun to do. This is what happens if you go on creative mode. You can just do whatever you want. But let's see how much I could actually add on to this. Protection 3. Level 26. 26 levels, just do that. So we got protection three, power three, efficiency four, unbreaking three. We got feather falling and as well as looting. So I can use this as a weapon to kill anything. Now let's see. What else do I have? Aqua Infinity. It just keeps on stacking up, people. Many, many enchantments. You could just do every single enchantment if you wanted to. It is just never ending. Can I even add more to it? Let's see what I have right here. So we got fire aspect. Yep. 
just keeps going on. You get the point, people. You get the point. This is an amazing pickaxe. Very, very overpowered. Look at that. Efficiency 4, power 3, protection 3, feather falling 4, unbreaking 3, looting 3, aqua infinity 1, thorns 3, and fire aspects. It just keeps on going. <laughs> this is an amazing pickaxe. This is so overpowered. Ha ha ha. Even though this is on creative mode, it doesn't really show any much purpose in that. But as you can see, you can just keep doing this as many times as you want. You know what? Let me see. I'm going to head over to Operation Bedrock and we're going to take a look at repairing the items. So I'll get back to you on that. Alright, I am here. So let me see what I got here. Okay, let me see where I can make the anvil at. Crafting table, furnace, enchantment table, anvil. Well, it looks like I need to make some blocks. So where can I make some blocks? I have not actually made an actual block of ore in a long, long time. So here it is. Nine bars just to make one block. So one, two, three. Then we go over back to the crafting table. Go down. And here's an anvil. So let me go ahead and place that anvil down. And what's see we can actually do from here. So here's this broken pickaxe. Another broken pickaxe. And it gives it a little bit of more health, which it just only needs two levels. So, pretty useful. Now let's see what happens if I put an enchanted pickaxe with a regular pickaxe. It's able to actually restore it, but at the same time, you need to sacrifice 33 levels. Yeah, that's a lot. It has its own little bit of an algorithm to see how it calculates it for you. So... It could be really good at times if you want to actually try to heal up your or repair your pickaxe or you just want to go all the way to level 30 and just do the trial and error method of enchantment just to get the thing that you want, especially like this one. So let's see what happens if you were to put two of the same broken pickaxes together. Yeah, that is not worth it. Two of the same enchanted pickaxes for that low of a health you're kind of better off with an actual broken pickaxe like this one. Halfway broken, level 33, halfway there. So, know what you're trying to do with the combinations. It'll help you a lot. Now let's see if I were to add on a sword. Nothing. It just doesn't do it. So, here's my knockback 2, sharpness 4, looting 3, and fire aspect 2. With a normal sword... It doesn't do anything. Apparently, it's just too expensive. <laughs> this is a great enchantment right there. So apparently with this, it is just too expensive to even do. So, yeah. No calculations there. It's pretty good. It's pretty honest. What can I do if I were to add diamonds? So apparently, you could use diamonds to repair something. Okay, so one diamond will fully heal it. So you could use diamonds to repair your tools. So that is pretty neat. I like it. Is iron part of the equation? No, it's not. So you could use actual diamonds to fix up your tools. So let's see what happens if I were to do this one. Halfway, nearly halfway there. One diamond, pretty much already nearly full health. So add a second diamond. Almost full. Add a third diamond. Completely done, but at the cost of just 10 levels, which again, really counterproductive. You could just make a brand new pickaxe and you'd be fine with it. You don't have to lose 10 levels. So with the diamonds, it'll be more practical to use it on an already enchanted tool. So these are tips and tricks that I'm figuring out while I'm going along with it. This is really, really neat. Except the fact that it costs 34 levels just to fix it just a tad bit with the health. So, the algorithm for it, uh, not so much. What happens if I were to do this? Okay, champion level 30 for a third of its health. One more. Halfway there with 36. Level 3, too expensive. So, it cannot go past level 40 for some odd reason. But, again, with level, with just two diamonds for 30, with 36 levels, you could go pretty much halfway there. 
If you really want to go through all of that, then that is your choice. There's just a lot of combinations you can do with the anvils and the other items you can do with it. So this is a pretty neat feature. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be very, very useful in Operation Bedrock, of course, because we could, we have a bunch of broken tools. I've kept it for the fact that I wanted to wait for the anvils. So look at all this. So much broken tools. So we just got to keep spending levels to combine them if you really want to go that route again if you really want to go that route if we actually ran out of diamonds but again not really too practical i just wanted to see how much it could actually be or how good it will actually do in operation bedrock but in the end kind of counterproductive in the long run so i am not really going to go with the anvil deal sad but it happens it's just a little bit of a neat feature that you want to use if you want to use it but that is all for now. So the next video, uh, let me see. It's going to have to deal with the nether quartz. The quartz, nether quartz, however you want to call it. You find quartz in the nether world. So we're going to have to find them. We're going to take a look at what it is and what you can do with it. But until then, have a great day, everyone. I am SorkingZero90. And as always, I will see you in the next video.